Hey, it's John and Mike, BrewDashJuice.com. We've got through the Jar of Destiny, pick number nine. It's now time for pick number 10. If uh, Mike's calculations are right, that means we've done 20, 20 or oh, at least this, this will be, be 20 yeah. styles. This will be 20 styles. So we've done 18? We've done 18. Oh my God. Yeah. I don't, and there's, what is it? Like, there's a lot in there though, right? I mean, <laughs> there it's are the BJCP, a no mead, no ciders, just the beers. It's just the beers, huh? Okay. You know, so yeah. Yep, so if you're new to the program, um, Mike said, hey, what if we put every single beer style on like a little wooden circle and we put it in this jar and then we just picked from the jar and said, we got to brew that style so that in three months we would come back and say, hey, this is what we came up with to like do the best style we could or the best version of the style we could uh, using all the experience and or, you know, research we could do. And so we've been successful for nine picks and this is pick number 10. Yep. So I think we're all caught up. Let's... And some ancillary rules, right, is still uh, staying away from each things, other's yeah. wheelhouse. Yeah, right? so, so like yeah. no Vienna uh, lager, no cream ale for me type of deal. And the other person's got the veto power on that. Yeah, there are some styles. Gee, there is a, there's a ton of styles. We're gonna be here until 2037. Um, and we'll have to make a decision about some of the harder ones. Yeah. Yeah, I think we've decided that if there are ones that we think like aren't going to make it in the, I don't know, we're going to try to get Three as much. Three months is our goal. Yeah. There are definitely some, maybe you pull a second one. Yeah. Like set that one up for the nine month. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's doing, see what we get. They're doing Jar of Destiny, be kind. Be kind. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. All right. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Do you have any desires? I have no, I have no thoughts in my head. Yeah, I'm don't just, soil the jar. I'm just right? letting the jar tell me yeah. what I'm going to brew next. Yes. Okay. Uh, oh, from yeah. the uh, category 19, it's a uh, style 19B, and this is the Cali Common, baby. That yeah! is awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. Springtime beer in the northern hemisphere. Thank you very much. Good night. After <laughs> I'm gonna walk home. Listen. After the eyes buck, I was like, all right, I yeah. need, a, I need that something. That is so timely with oh. Anchor shutting down. Oh, and everything. Right. I mean, this is... Let's celebrate. That's awesome. And Great. let's pay tribute. I'm going to get goose or something. <laughs> <laughs> Don't see. taunt the jaw. Don't nope. taunt the jaw. I will not taunt the jaw. All right. All I'm right. looking away. I'm not even looking at the jaw. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh, okay. I think I can handle this. Standard American beer 1A. American light lager. Tricky. Tricky. Not as easy as you think. Yeah. All right. Good. Great. I'm doing this one. Awesome. Yeah, you're All right, totally great. doing that great. one. I I'm think doing you, that one. I think you can. I, I don't think you have had. I think you've brewed lawnmower beers. I do, yeah, like a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I call a lot of things lawnmower sure. beer, but yeah. But really going that route. Yeah. This I imagine this is an adjunct log. Yeah, it right? is. Yeah. So let's. What I, what I expect from this is like super mild, <laughs> like. Effervescent, mm -hmm. spicy, mm -hmm. right? That that strange, and I think it only is spicy because there's nothing else there, right? <laughs> like that very first sip that you get from like a Bud Light yeah. or a Coors Light, it's actually like a tremendous like. To me, that's always been like a big smack in the face. That's beer, mm -hmm. right? Then like the third, fourth, fifth sips, it's just sort of nothingness. But it's that first one when your palate is totally virgin and you're ready, to, like you have it. It's like, whoa, whoa. that's what has yeah. to happen with this beer. I love it, right? Is of the macro light lagers or light beers? What's your favorite? Miller Light. Yeah, I thought you said that's that what. Yeah. If I'm gonna, when I do, usually I might buy a 12er once a summer of a just to have that type of beer around. Uh, Miller Light's my choice. Could you emulate Miller Light? Yeah, I might have to look at that. I have to see. Is Miller? Are they more of a corn? Or are they Don't more know. of a rice Don't know. based? Uh, uh, adjunct lager. We'll Word, see. Worthy we'll see. of Some research. research. Yes, yes. I have brewed a Cali Common before. Not sure if um, I was super psyched about it. I think it's all about the hops, you know. Mm. Yes. Yeah. In particular, there's a particular hop yes, used, I know. There, which I really don't like. I that know hop. you don't like it. It's right like, up there with the F was, hop was, for me. <laughs> <laughs> the F word hop. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, um, are you gonna like this stuff? But you know what? In honor of Anchor Steam, man, I'm yeah, I'm down. Okay, all right. I think the other thing is just the the hybrid nature of it. Yes, 
You yeah. Know? Yeah. I loved fermenting in a cool basement and yeah. uh, right, really trying to feel uh, temperatures that were on the lower scale yeah. and like finding yeah. that play, that corner, yeah. like, oh, yeah. like that's going to be where it want to be. So I think like 15 years ago, people were going crazy over making that style because for the same reasons people were going crazy over using Kvake, mm. right? Because you could make this thing out of control with out of control temperature. Um, so home brewers, we used to think lagers were just, just not something we could do, do as home brewers. Do but Cal Common was something we could do because yep. of steam beer and this wonderful story mm -hmm. and lager used at room temperature. Oh my gosh. But here we are now talking about Lager used at room temperature all the time. 3470 will yeah. be super clean at whatever temperature. So that's the cool thing. I think one of the big challenges with Cali Common is that malt bill having just enough character to bring the color mm -hmm. and the flavor, but certainly, but not being overpowering at all. Okay. Right? I mean, that let those uh, that hop character shine through. Through that. You know, but there's a backbone there that isn't too, too much. <sighs> it's going to be hard to find a... <laughs> <laughs> like commercial stuff. Like, does anybody else mm. do? Yeah, yeah. Oh, steam man. beer, right? You know? New England IPA steam beer. You mean? <laughs> no. Um, yeah. No, I don't know. It, yeah, you find. I, you might be able to find it on draft somewhere. Like, especially the time of year, there might be some guys doing it. I know that. A, I know a couple of breweries who have done it nearby us okay. in the past. Right. But will they have one for you to sample and think about? Well, who knows? Tell me which ones, yeah. and I'll yeah. give them a call yeah. and see what's up. Um, but yeah, I think that I, it's it's very it's similar to the alt German alt mm -hmm. style, and I've done those yes. around. It's more of the March time frame, but uh, maybe we'll have a cool April. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And uh, I'll be able to like use ambient temperatures in my basement to do this. Um, Things will be cool. Things will. Things will. Eh, things will warm up. You managed up to too. freeze an ice block. You'll be all set. <laughs> well, that's. Well, I, I'm not going to put a keg sideways into my freezer and like move the peas away or whatever I did to get it to, to handle. I don't even know like how I like. I was able to do it during the day. That's the deal. Okay. Yeah. I was able to do it in the day. Like so, the wife wasn't like, "Why is there a big mini keg?" That's 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 not that doesn't make any sense. Um, why is there a keg in the freezer? Don't worry about it. It's for the dash. Don't you worry about it. So all right. So that's the picks. 19B, Cali Common, and 1A, 1A American Light Lager. Could you could you choose a higher? And that's number? the first one. I know. There you go. That's great. All right. The pick, the picks are done. The jar has saith. And that's what we're going to do. So stay tuned. We'll have beers to taste in, I don't know, about three months. Uh, these shouldn't be that hard to turn no, around. So I, the other two, I was like, all right, I got to get going. Like, I think I started brewing like the week after we chose the, uh, the styles. But um, this one will be, uh, I'll take my time, do some more research, think about it, and uh, we'll get back to you. All right. Well, if you have any tips, we like to see in the comments. Uh, so post your tips for either style, and we'll uh, take those into consideration. If you like this, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. We do this kind of thing every single week for John and Mike. Brew-news.com. Brew on. Cheers. <laughs>